Surprising you come out alive with like that attack. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. The Yakman you're about to see took 10 years to restore. The history of it, I'll just go over that very quickly. It was assembled in mid to late March 1945 and was actually issued to its ultimate unit on the 30th of March 1945. How just how this made it way made its way from Zenelaga, major railhead, onto the trains to be issued to the 116th Panzer Division in early in early April is quite amazing. Anyway, it went into action in its first day against the Americans. Lasted a few short weeks, I think it was three weeks, before it was captured by God's armored division. And ultimately, it was brought back to this country for the very long time. The installation itself was made particularly critical by a few individuals that I've been talking to, which we think we had actually spent a long time in their lives actually treating it with a lot of enthusiasm on the on the shooting range when it wanted it broken down. And it broke down on the shooting range through the old classic uh, cause of fires in the engine bay, which is when it stalls, you don't start it again immediately because you have mechanical electric pumps. So mechanical fuel pumps. And what happened was the carburetors were over were over brimming with fuel, it happens in these things. And try and start it again, you have a spark and you have a fire. So that's how she ended her life. But prior to that, she was being used as a tow on the uh, Furbright Ranges. This is uh, just south of the M25. We managed to get hold of her in the uh, year 2000, I think it was, in which a German had actually purchased this in exchange for some artillery pieces and taken her and another of these uh, Yak Panthers, which had ended up on the Herna Ranges in Germany, which unfortunately had had a few more shots fired at her. And this other Yak Panther is waiting to be put together at our workshop in Kent. Anyway, I'll hand you over to Hilary Doyle, who can explain a little bit more about the Yak Panther. The Yak Panther is a tank destroyer. Uh, and it's meant to be used by the high command of an army uh, unit to destroy tanks at long distance. Its 88 millimeter gun is meant to engage uh, vehicles at 2,500 meters. So before the uh, enemy tanks can actually even see the Yacht Hunter, it's, it's in action against them. However, the practical situation at the end of the war was that these units were driven into action in small groups and used uh, in a very incorrect way. The production of these is very interesting because there was supposed to be 1,000 of them built by the end of the war. In fact, uh, the factories were only able to turn out about three to 400 of them due to the bombing activities. The main factory, Miag, in Braunschweig, was, was actually knocked out of commission completely by a bombing raid in October of 44. Uh, then MNH who built her arm. Second World War. 
Ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare for the official opening of Tank Fest by the man who's been confirmed today, allegedly, to be the new James Bond, it is director of the Tank Museum, Richard Smith, in his very fast paced vehicle. It's the boxer. Good morning, man. Personnel weapons. The basic vehicle, the half track, is extremely common 